In the last episode, we set up uh, Node.js with uh, Express to build APIs. Now we are going to build our model, which is customer model that will handle uh, customer uh, crowd operation. We're going to create uh, the model for Mongo uh, to handle MongoDB uh, uh, collection and the routes to uh, build the API or the API endpoints. So to do so, we are going to add two folders here. The first one would be models, in which we are going to put our MongoDB models, and another folder for the routes, in which we are going to have our endpoints. So in the model, we're going to create a new um, model. So it's a customer application. So we're going to have our uh, main model, which is a customer.js. And in the routes, we're going to build or to add our routes. So customer. customers.js you can call it whatever you want so in here we are going to uh, import mongoose from mongoose we're going to use the mongoose to build our um, our model that is going to connect to the database so we are start. We are going to start by just declaring the customer schema, which is going to be equal to mongoose dot schema, and then in the schema we're going to add the attributes of our let's say collection or attributes of our object. So we are going to start with the date, and that is of type date. And it's required. True. Then we're going to have name, which type is string required is equal to true. Same thing for the email. The phone number I'm going to limit ourselves to these information but nothing prevents us from adding other information on the go so now we are ready to um, export our model so to do so we're going just to do this and it's going to be our customer schema here we're going to rename it to schema And we're going to um, export that to be used in the roots. So const customer equal to mongoose dot model. And we specify what is the collection name. It's going to be called customers. Then we're going to specify the schema, customer schema. And we're going to export that into our model module. So module.export equal to customer. We're going to use this on our routes. Now we are we are ready to use uh, this model. So we're going to go to our uh, routes and build the routes or the endpoints. So we are going to start by requiring the express. So it's going to be const express and here we are going to require express also we need to build the rotor using the express package rotor and we're going to get our customer model from the model folder or models for the folder so it's going to be models then our customer so this is it now we are ready to build our first let's say endpoint and to build an endpoint we are going to start with git list and that is going to be rotor 
dot get main and then we have the callback of request response i'm going to send back the response to the user if all good so our response would be to get the list so const customers is equal to await so we are going to have a async call here and this is going to be flagged as async method so we're going to wait for the model customer dot find now we're going to return back that response to so we say response dot uh, json can always specify the status which is 200 and we're going to ret reply back with that customer list. In case of error, we can always try catch the error in case we have an exception. So we are going to catch the error here. And then we're going to throw it back to the uh, customer or to the client. So the error would be response.status 400 or 500 with the JSON that returns back the error. So we can always customize that. So with message, an error occurred. And our error is going to return back as that. So this is the error that we're going to return the customer. And we'll take this to put it in the try catch or try catch statement. So now when we uh, run the API or the application, so we are, when we just hit nothing, it will just get us the list of uh, customers. And we're going to work on the create customer or post customer. And to do so, we're going to create our first method, which is post create. And in this, it will be a post method. So we're going to take this and instead of get, we're going to say post and we'll receive the information about the customer on the body of the request. So to do so, we are just going to say customer is equal to new customer and that's from the request dot body that is that and then we are going to return or to add it to the database by just say um, customer creates equal to customer dot save it's just going to save our model and if all good we need to return to save the customer in case of error there is an error will be returned to the uh, to the user so now we are going to get the by detail so it's similar to this that is going to be get by id and in this we're going to use parameter which is our id and the request or the id will be gathered from the request dot body is equal to uh, rec dot parameters dot id and we're going to use that to get the information find find one in this case and our id is equal to id so we are interested in the id that is equal to the id and we we're going to just return one customer in this case. And then that's the customer that we're going to return.